we are talking about football now, in fact. We're talking about the power of football, really. Um, Darren Snow is the co-founder of the Crew Club in Whitehawk. I shall let Darren start by explaining what it is the Crew Club does. OK, so the Crew Club... Um, hi, by the way. <laughs> the Crew Club is a youth and community centre, so working with um, people from all ages within the uh, community. And it um, basically tries to work with those people around health and wellbeing you know issues things and you've set up this um, partnership with Whitehawk FC correct yeah so there was um, four of us come together um, so Whitehawk FC um, police and co is a company and um, this University of Sussex come together and we wanted to look at how can we create an infrastructure for youth football but off the back of that look at how football can affect other areas so for instance you know men's mental health and um, you know general fitness and well-being mm. I don't know if you saw that program recently I can't stop my head remember the name <coughs> of it but it was on the BBC um, and it was about football and mental health and they had uh, Peter crouch yeah, um, so various footballers talking about their careers and about their own mental health experiences yeah i didn't see that particular one but the project that we're wor we're working with with um adult men is we're calling hawks um heroes which is based on the concept of harry's heroes so he ah, went and back okay. and worked with some ex england players and the idea of that was to look at their health and and well-being and their mental health yeah because for a long time I think mental health in general has had this stigma. It's not necessarily something that people have wanted to talk about openly, and um, particularly men. I think definitely so, and I think the pressures on people's um, everyday life now mm. um, you know, contributes to there being more mental health issues around. And yeah. I think the more we can talk about mental health in a way that it's about each other supporting each other to reduce the mental health conditions or, or, or what's going on with that then I think it's, it's all be all the better yeah and also when you look at the stats I mean the fact that you know suicide is the biggest killer of men under the age of 45 I mean something's got to change yeah and also uh, you know statistics linked to that is that men are more likely to be successful in in death through suicide mm. so they tend to take the more extreme versions sure. of suicide um, which, you know, is, is just worrying. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us then about some of the, the ideas you've had then. OK, so <clears throat> so the Hawks Heroes. So we, we got a group of 21 guys together, uh, local members of the community, and um, we've set up a, a football team and they the ultimate game will be to play at Whitehawk FC against another Vets team. OK. Um, but along the way, um, we're, we're, we're heavily monitoring the, the guys and, and, and it's... It's picking up and uh, turning, churning up lots of different issues. So for one guy in particular, he looked um, like he needed to see his GP. Now, normally men wouldn't just go and see their GP. No. So the rest of the group are saying, well, you know, you need to go and see your GP. So gave so him that push. Yeah, so he went and saw his GP. Um, now, unfortunately, he's found out through that process that he now has bowel cancer. Oh, God. Now, but that's a direct result of his peers encouraging him to go to a GP and now those group of men and his the system now the health system can help him get through this yeah. um, but who knows what would have happened if that intervention wouldn't have happened in the first place that's the thing and we all know you know with cancer yeah, it's all about early diagnosis isn't it yeah yeah gosh so it just goes to show then doesn't it how powerful unbelievably that so. can be because actually it's about being part of a team isn't it? it's about being more involved with your community yeah and what a lot of the guys are saying is that before the project um they'd go home from work and they wouldn't see anyone mm. so there's this whole issue around you know, not just men, but particularly men and loneliness and, and teenagers and loneliness. Yeah, and, you know, there's a much bigger, bigger issue um, with loneliness in peer groups that you wouldn't expect it to be present in. And with the kids, with the younger people? Yeah, so we're, we're, we're setting up this football infrastructure. So we're looking at uh, under sevens to under 16s. There's been no uh, youth football infrastructure in Whitehall for many years now. Um, we've got four teams um, we've got two teams in the league next season and we're looking at two development teams so they'll play friendlies for one season and then we're looking at you know each season developing at least another one or two teams until we get to the full sort of breadth of the from under sevens to under sixteens. Brilliant and this is just one of many projects that you do up at the crew club. Yeah, so um, we work with people, you know, across the ages, you know, whether it's uh, parents and their toddlers in those sort of groups, um, 7 to 11 groups for after-school clubs, um, teenage uh, sessions on a Monday evening, 
you know, we cut across all the ages, um, girls groups we've got running. And we also run East Brighton Amateur Boxing Club from the club. So again, you know, one route into, uh, you know, men's health is through the boxing club as much mm. as the football. And all of the stuff we do for young people is free because we don't want any young person to not be able to engage with our services because of money. Yeah. So one of the things we're trying to do with the youth football infrastructure is to get, you know, sponsorship and, you know, companies buying into that um, concept so that we can heavily subsidise kids' football um, to play in the local league. It is. Well, look, let's see if we can help you with that today. You know, we have a lot of people listening to the show, a lot of people who own their own businesses and what have you. How can they get involved? How can they get in touch with you? Well, the first thing to do is to get in touch with the crew club, um, 01273 608 607, um, or, or find you know, us online, uh, crewclub.co.uk. Um, get in touch with us. One of, the, one of the ways is to sponsor a kit. So for £650, you can sponsor one of the team's kit for the season. You get your company name on the front of the kit. Um, or, you, you know, you could sponsor in a, in, a, in, a, in a way which is just basically trying to help subsidise the kids, in, you know, paying for their football mm. each season. And you must get to see at the Crew Club the difference that these projects make to, to individual lives. Yeah, and, I, and, and one of the, what we want to be looking at doing from sort of today onwards is is reducing the stats for the area because, mm. you know, stats are stats and you can sometimes weigh them up how you want, but things haven't really moved on in the last 20, 30 years right. when you look at things like education and health. And I think, you know, areas like Whitehall, they're quite, they get a lot of knocking a lot of the time. They do, yeah. But, you know, it's, you know, if you live there and you're part of those areas and I've lived there all my life, you know, it's, it's not, it's basically not fair. I don't know about you as well. I sometimes think like areas like Whitehawk, Moleskine, they kind of almost get forgotten sometimes because people think of Brighton as this very affluent place. Yeah. And perhaps people don't think about some of those suburbs. Yeah, and I, and I think what, what happens is those areas become normalised, so people yeah. just think people from those areas are going to be underachievers, they're going to, you know, they're going to, yeah. it's, it's just going to be, that's just the way it is. And it's not, that's not the way it is. How happens. does it make you feel when you hear people putting down the place where you were born, the place you've lived all your life? Well, you know, if people have got a valid reason to do that, like with anywhere, then fair enough. But if it's just based on stuff Hearsay. that people have heard mm. that they have no, you know, they can't back it up, then I think, you know, what we would say as a crew club is come and see us at the crew club. Yeah. You know, come and get involved in what we're doing, see what we're doing. We've got a 21st century youth centre, which, we, you know, we, we managed to get a million pounds for to build. So, you know, the facilities are good, the assets are good, the people are good. Um, come, just come and have a look. Mm. It's time now that people that are there to help support the, our community do really, you know, knuckle down and start to try and help it so that these things don't happen in the future. Yeah, no, absolutely. More power to you. So that's the thing. Otherwise, you sort of write people off. You generally you haven't given people the chance. Yeah, well, we're definitely not going to write people off. We're definitely going to keep banging the drum for White Orc and we're going to, you know, hold people to account if we have to. But we want to work with people. We don't want to sure. work against people. No. And, uh, you know, we're, our doors are open now to start making a massive difference to this area well listen i'm not just saying it. if i can help in any way i would love to get involved so you bear that in mind you know yeah, if we can help the crew yeah. club i just think what you're doing up there is so important you know if we can get behind get behind it then then please just just tell us what we can do to help um darren just remind us if people want to find out more about the crew club if they want to get in touch with you how can they do that Yep, so the website, you know, crewclub.co.uk is the first and foremost place to go. Um, you know, you can contact us on 01273 608 607 um, and then we can start the conversations from there.